the guy swans away these here and if you haven't noticed my hair is slightly different it's still not pink yet but it's getting to the process um so this is a match preview against Huddersfield midweek fi fixtures are back we haven't had one since the Brentford game and uh, if we perform like that then we're gonna lose simple as that on, on the weekend obviously we all know we lost one to Millwall is a really poor performance again one of those performances where there was not really a good player on the pitch um like fight energy motivation we lacked everything in fairness Millwall they weren't that good they didn't have to get out the first gear to be fair but they on pay on the reflection of the game they did deserve to win but yep yeah, if the ref didn't give out a free kick it would have probably been a little draw uh, I've looked back right now I can get I can see why he's giving it but I don't understand why Van Hunden gets sent off so we got away with one there but um, Huddersfield had a 1-0 draw against Birmingham at home um, that's a game they really should be winning in fairness if they do want to stay up in the championship obviously they've got the Cowley brothers who've done a fantastic job since coming in from Lincoln uh, they've steadied the ship a bit uh, they've gone up the table but they're still not clear and safe so they're only a few points above relegation zone so they'll be looking at Swansea now a team which are very good away from home but do struggle defensively sometimes uh, with laps of concentration um, so they, they'll probably be looking at us, con looking for a win and see if they, we can knock their Swansea's good away record off. On to Swansea's team news, I don't think there's many injury concerns again, apart from Joe Rode and Garrick and Kalulu. Um, I'd make a few changes to this. It's a midweek game, we've got another game Friday, which is going to be a home to Fulham, which is a very tough game. Um, so I can see a few changes in this game. So I'm going to go through my predicted lineup now. In goals, I go for Freddie Woodman, you don't know, really need to change the keeper. Right back, I'm going for Connor Roberts. I'd give Kyle Norton a rest for Friday, and I think Connor Roberts is a very good replacement anyway for Kyle Norton. Both good players. Two centre half saying it's going to be Van der Horn and Ben Wilmer. I don't think you really need to rotate in the centre half partnership considering Joe Rowan's out injured. Left back, then I'm going to give a chance to Deckel and John. I think Bidwell was really poor again on Saturday. He got absolutely mugged off by Murray, Wall not Murray Wallace, uh, Jed Wallace. Uh, skinned him and they could have scored it was a good save by Woodman so Bidwell had another poor game and something's got to be done about this poor form and the only thing I can think about is him being dropped Declan John deserves a chance he's an attacking fullback who's got pace and if he does make a mistake he can get back with using his pace something Bidwell cannot do um, so I'd like to give Declan John a chance now in the centre midfield department this is where we've been struggling a lot lately I'm going to bring Jay Fulton in for George Byers I think Fulton's a very uh, a very defensive midfielder, but he's a very strong midfielder and physical midfielder as well. I think we've lacked that in recent weeks of someone who's not afraid of per tackling. The next set mid next room, we could put Tom Carnum in and sit with Matt Grimes. I can't see him dropping Matt Grimes. Obviously, he's captain. He had a poor game Saturday, but he's captain, so he needs to keep his head up and react and react to his poor performance Saturday. The only way to do that is play in the next game and play much better. On the wings, then I'm going to bring Christopher Peterson in and Andre Ayew. I'm going to move Andre back into this right hand side. I just think we really need that striker on the pitch. Um, there's, I just don't believe uh, we've not been creating chances. He was coming so deep for the ball against Millwall, and that just shows how frustrating it was. Peterson, I thought he did okay against Millwall, did a bit better than Routledge and Dyer, but I wasn't hard to do. Um, he, he's he got something they don't have which is uh, pace and really was quite skillful in Cam then I guess you can bring Jan down and we're going to give Selena another chance again uh, he's been poor this season he hasn't been performing to his standards but he has been floated on that left hand side at the start of the season so it's going to take him a while to get back to form up front then I'm going to personally go for Sam Surridge I'm just going to go for Sam Surridge because he's a bit more physical than Boa Baston. I just think Boa Baston's a bit out of favour. We did see the return of Boa Baston, but I just think Surridge against Huddersfield, which are going to be a tough uh, side to play against, I think this is a game for Sam Surridge. So let me know your team down below. Uh, for a score prediction, I'm going to go for a... I'm going to feel positive, a 2-1 two, two Swans away victory. I'm just going to go for that for our away, good away form. Goal scorers... For Huddersfield, I'm gonna go for it's gonna be Grant. <laughs> He's such a good player for Huddersfield. For the Swans, then I'm gonna go for Sam Surridge and Selena. I got a bit of confidence in them to get the goals. Uh, nobody got the score prediction right again against Millwall. Um, so no one's been featured in this uh, preview this week. If you do want to be involved, make sure you put your comments down below. And if you get the correct score prediction, then you'll be involved against Fulham. 
Um, time to get an opposition fan on. I've got a Huddersfield vlogger uh, fan who's actually a Welsh Huddersfield fan. He supports Aberystwyth as well, so that's good to get a fellow Welsh content creator on. Um, his channel is called Pricey, so make sure that'll be down below. Make sure you go and subscribe to him. And here's what he's got to say about Huddersfield for tomorrow's, tomorrow night's game. The start of the season wasn't exactly the best start to our season this year, uh, with Jan Siever getting sacked. Um, but he did gradually improve with getting Nicky and Danny Cowley in management. Now, since we've had Nicky and uh, Danny in management, uh, I think we went seven games unbeaten, which is a very, very good run, considering they only came into the club in, this, in September. So it's pretty, pretty good, that is, for uh, newly income managers. Um, I think uh, we're going to do decent this season. Since we've been having Sievert being sacked and had um, Nicky and Danny Calgary in charge, we've been on a decent form of run and we've picked up some pretty decent points. Um, I think we've lost only once um, since they came into management, so that's pretty good considering they haven't been at the club that long. My prediction is 2-1 win for Huddersfield. Callan Grant and Lewis O'Brien will score for Huddersfield. And Andrea Ayew will score the only goal for Swansea. Swansea need to bounce back because they lost 1-0 to um, Millwall, as you already know with being Swansea fans yourselves. Uh, and we drew 1-0 with Birmingham. But I reckon from that performance we had at Birmingham uh, at the John Smith Stadium, um, last Saturday, I reckon that we can go and bounce back with a win against Swansea. If we don't win, I reckon we could probably just scrape a draw. But yeah, 2-1 is my main prediction. Yeah, thanks for coming on, mate. I always appreciate an opposition fan coming on. He spoke well. And uh, thank you for talking about uh, the Cowley brothers and just Huddersfield in general. So that's the last thing before I end this video is make sure you go and donate to my charity link down below. All money goes to Cancer Research UK and I've done, and we've done amazing so far, guys. I think we're on like £120. So we're only £80 off the target. If we can reach out, that'd be sensational. Uh, there's been a lot of people who've been sharing and about and I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, it's on my Instagram bio, Twitter bio as well. So if you can go and retweet, share about and stuff like that, I'll be really appreciated. Any money which is being um, raised from my YouTube channel will be going there for the next couple of weeks anyway. So just to get over the line. But thanks to everyone who's donated so far. If you can't donate, make sure you just share about and I'll be fine. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I will be up to Huddersfield tomorrow. It's going to be a very long trip, uh, midweek trip to Yorkshire. I'm missing college, so um, let's hope we can get the win. But um, only one thing I can say, come on, Swans, do not let me down.